from Studio B in the Communication Building at Olivet Nazarene University. It's Tonight at Olivet with Beck Salaji. Tonight's guests include Noah Campbell-White and this year's homecoming queen, Heather Voss. Here's your host, Beck Salaji. Good evening, everyone. I'm your host, Beck Salaji, and welcome to a new season of Tonight at Olivet. Yeah. So, fall is upon us. This means many things, and our favorite fall flavors are back, and our favorite sweaters have come out of the storage bins. But there are some other things that we can talk about this fall. Scientists have recently succeeded in teaching rats to drive tiny cars. Can't picture it? Well, here's a short clip. The future is now, everyone. Tune in next year when rats have a monopoly on the Uber industry. <laughs> everyone was so excited for fall, uh, fall, talking about sweater weather and infinity scarves. And I believe they forget what comes after fall. I remember what can, comes next. Oh, yes, I have seen beyond the wall, and I fear the Night King. That's right, guys. Winter is coming. <laughs> Japan is leading in technology with a new high-tech toilet. The design is very sophisticated, allowing you to program the toilet to your specific needs so that he can remember how you like it and can connect to an app on your phone to track your usage as well. Hopefully, these toilets won't rise against us at, in, in rebellion. And Paramount has already brought, uh, bought the movie rights to uh, to the development and are going forth in the newest Terminator movie, Judgment Bidet. <laughs> Coving season is upon us here at all of that, but if you're not aware of this term, it's a biological response where people are in a rush to meet the love of their lives before the cold sets in. You may have been told to shoot your shot, however, an Arkansas man has shot a deer and was promptly gored by the deer's antlers. The moral of the story here is when you shoot your shot, Make sure to hit your target. <laughs> a couple in Pennsylvania were surprised to find that squirrels have been hiding, uh, have been storing nuts in the winter of, uh, for the winter in the hood of their family car, as you can see here. Well, I guess I can understand that. I mean, sometimes you just want drive-through. <laughs> now, we've got a great show for you tonight. <laughs> Noah Campbell-White will be here talking about his role in all of that winter play. You can't take it with you. And our 2019 homecoming queen, Heather Voss, is here as well. We'll be right back. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Now, there are a few fall traditions we cannot wait for every year, like the haunted house or a challenging cord maze, and sometimes we can blend the two. We took one of our crew members down to Perry Farms to experience the acting out Sleepy Hollow haunted corn maze to see if we could rise to the challenge. Now let's see, let's take a look and hope we don't scare you. Ooh. With our editor, Michelle, her and I are about to go on a haunted corn maze. Now, Michelle, how easily do you scare? Um, really easily. Oh, yeah. Really easily? Mm -hmm. Now, as we can tell, there's something going on behind us. Does that make you nervous, Michelle? Oh, no, not at all. Not it doesn't. Yet. You look oh. super comfortable. Yeah. Um, well, we're really excited. I'm excited to see what Perry Farms has to offer. Um, and this is done by Acting Out, or is it just Sleepy Hollow? I'm not sure. I'm excited. It doesn't matter. Let's go. What's your favorite part of this whole event? Ooh, it's uh, it's got to be scaring. Scaring. It's, uh, it's always getting yeah. the screams I mean, and the laughter that sometimes <laughs> follows. But yeah, no, this is this is fun. Awesome. And what was your name? Nicole. Nicole. Nice to meet you, Nicole. I'm back. Back. Yeah. Ready when you are. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see like anything. I'm behind you, let's or let's if you want to go behind. Oh no. I, you know. Ah, you don't like that. You're <laughs> He's cute. I really like him. Well, I don't think we should go that way. <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh. objectively, corn is the scariest plant. Um, I'm going. Should we go this way? <laughs> <laughs> A 
shot how they feel. <laughs> so what we're gonna take <laughs> <for this. laughs> Kate, come back. I, I think you have to hold my I hand. Love this. That's a head. Where? Right above us, you know? Oh, oh yes. it's like the boom? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Michelle, if I work at um, 13th floor for your day, are you gonna come? <laughs> Never. What if I buy you a ticket? Um, yeah, no, thank you. You sure? Is that poop? Gracious. I <laughs> oh no no no! Great, perfect. Good. And I think we see the end. Good. That's good. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah. Good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm sweating. <laughs> like really sweating. All right, Michelle. How'd you like that? So I can't remember what it is. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, that was fun. Um, favorites. Let's talk of actors of note. Well, the 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 blood dripping out of the mouth was, you know, a star for sure. A good one. I liked the light up masks because then I could see where they were. That doesn't count. <laughs> That's not. Yes, it does. You want the scarier ones? There's the guy. When he laid on the ground, yeah, wasn't expecting that one. Yeah, no, he was a star. Yeah. He was a star. Yeah. Um, oh, there's our friend. There's our friend. Just out and about. On his way. Know. Out in the world. He has exited Real the corn maze. What do you have there, buddy? Oh. <laughs> Your friend? Oh, it's an axe. Oh, yes. Well, it's an axe yes. Yes. You know, I'm good here. Actually, I, I let you? You're so kind. Gift. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. This is nice. Cool toy. Um, anyways, Bonded Corn Maze over at Sleepy Hollow and Perry Farms and back to back. Takeaway from this time at Sleepy Hollow is that clowns are creepy and corn makes Michelle sweat. <laughs> Up next, P is a fellow performer and having starred in the Broadway Review of 2019, let's take a look. Now please. Help me welcome the man of many faces and soon to be taking the winter play. You can't take it with you. Here's Noah Campbell White. Hey. Are ya? Good, good. All right, Noah. So you've been at all of that for a while, but um, I've heard you spend some time outside of the country as well. Your parents are missionaries. That's right. They're missionaries in Thailand. Oh, very fun. So can you tell me about your experience there? How long have you spent there? Uh, I, I've been back. I, I go back every Christmas, but the mm -hmm. longest amount of time I went there was before school, and that was about seven months. 
uh -huh. that I lived there. Yeah. Wonderful place. Yeah. Oh, it's so it's very warm. Yeah. Very yeah. very warm. Different. Uh, yeah, but oh, the the area. sights, the smells, the yeah. food. Oof. Oh, the Oof. food's great. Yeah. Oh yeah, I could go for Tyra right family now. On on five dollars, oh. easy. Oh, that's actually what I've heard. It is a very cheap place to get food. It is, all right. yeah. Well, so during your time at all of that, outside of Thailand, um, you've been very involved in the theater department. So what has been your favorite experience, play, character, role? That's uh, a difficult question. Um, my first show here was a mm -hmm. show called Our Town, which yeah, yeah, you we were, were also in again. That together. was a special yeah, that was show. That was uh, that yeah. was a wonderful show. Uh, really loved that. My favorite character. I, that you've played, that to I've, clarify. Right. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, I'd say probably Deputy Governor Danforth in The Crucible. Okay. It's, just, it's fun to yell at people and condemn them to death. It's <laughs> just, it's just, it's, uh, there's something about it. With, and you get the gray streaks in your hair. And I you, don't want to say you fit in at church, uh, yes. but man. Oh, thank um, you. Yeah, well. Uh, um, but I, 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 at the same time, there, that show had uh, such an interesting message yeah. about, uh, uh, about judgment and about grace, yeah. I think. That was, that was a very beautiful yeah. show. And the dangers of getting on this yeah. bandwagon, yeah. You know, I that believe, is a because beautiful they believe. Show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah. Um, so outside of that, outside of your favorite production, um, what have you been a part of recently? We can talk about Broadway Review. Yeah, yeah, loved it. This was actually my first time doing Broadway Review. Yeah? And uh, I had absolutely no idea what I was getting myself into, and at times it was less commitment than I thought, and then at times it was way, way more yeah, than, than I thought. Yeah, not as consistent as a regular play, just right. because it's kind of like a quilt yeah. of... And we had some 90 people yeah. that we had uh, cast of, which is huge. Yeah. Uh, so people are doing schedules all, all over the place, yeah. and... And uh, so there, there would be a week where I really <laughs> didn't even have to show up. Exactly. That's nice. Yeah, and then there'd be a week where I was there every night from like yeah. eight to midnight. Oof. Uh, Oof. So it was, it, it was a really wonderful experience. And there, there are four directors for that, and they're yeah. such wonderful: Andrew, yeah. uh, Kaylee, Ashley, and Jackson. And they were. All of them are great. Yeah, they really are. Yeah. yeah. So I, I loved, I really talented. loved getting to experience them in the cast. It was, it was really fun. Yeah. So you're going into a new cast for That's you can't right. take it with you. Yeah. Now, can you tell me the premise of this show? This show is about uh, two families. So Tony Kirby, he falls in love with Alice, uh, something or other. Oh. And You're the expert here. Yes, well, <laughs> and uh, they, they're from two very, very mm -hmm. different families, two, two very different worlds. And uh, Tony is from this great American mm -hmm. family, American ideals. Yeah. And Alice is from this really eccentric family that uh, value time, uh, mm -hmm. value time differently mm -hmm. than uh, the Kirby's. The Kirby's time is for making money, you know. Yeah. <laughs> And, and the Vanderhoffs. Vanderhoffs! That's there, it. There, there it we is. go. The Vanderhoffs, uh, our time is, is for enjoying family and friends. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. it's about that, that dichotomy and yeah. how it works out. So really, it's yeah, a really I'm wonderful really show. I'm really excited to yeah. see it. There Very was a excited to see it. film done, 1938, something or other. Uh, Frank Capra, Jimmy Stewart, oh. Lionel Barrymore. Well then. Yeah. Oh, it's a well, wonderful then. film. Yeah. yeah. And, and what part do you play in the show? I play Mr. Kirby, which is the father, the father of Tony the Kirby. American, the American dream dad. Yes, exactly. Yeah, he has his big business all the way. All right. Yeah. Well, and so what made you want to audition for this play? Probably the plot? Or? Uh, well, the film. In yeah. Part, I, I've okay. loved the film always, but then also I, uh, I, I, I live with three other roommates, all actors yes. as well. Yes, yes. I was trying, uh, Matt, Ellis, and I, we really wanted, uh, we were talking about how this would be really neat to do as a sort of flatmate experience. Mm -hmm. Like, we all, hey, it'd be fun if we all did this together. Yeah. Uh, one of them, I Isaac, could not. Yeah. Uh, well, he's in, he's he's in busy. kindergarten. Yeah, which he's is a busy. great show. And yeah. so he's, 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 he's busy in that, but uh, Lucas. Yeah. Adult. So we got three out of four. I mean, yeah. good odds. Yeah. So uh, it's the, it's a really wonderful thing to be able to do it with those guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, well, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, well, so um, thank you so much, Noah, for yeah. coming on the show. Absolutely. Um, now stay tuned. Um, we will have, uh, make sure to get your tickets for You Can't Take It With You coming to Kresge December 8th through 10th. Now, all right, don't just leave just yet because when we come back,
we will be in the presence of royalty. Now all hail the queen, please welcome 2019's homecoming queen, Heather Voss! Hi, Heather. Hello. homecoming queen and that was a whole experience oh amazing whatever but what we want to know is how you got there well, I want to see your rise to power um, so what all have you been doing at school to be so involved so that so many people know you well um, this year I'm currently serving my second year as mm -hmm. student council class representative um, I was a transfer mentor Mm -hmm. I mentored some students in math and science um, at the Youth Work Christ Center, and yeah. She's a sweetheart. <laughs> um, so uh, as far as that goes, um, if you could describe all of that in your experience here in about four words. Yeah. Make it, it doesn't have to be a string of words, it can be just any four words. Okay. Um, how would you describe it? Um, probably freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I would probably say the best four years. Aww. Is that four? The best four years. Yeah, no. Yeah. She's an education major. <laughs> so, um, as we can see, all of that has clearly made an impact on you. Um, and you've clearly made an impact on all of that. Um, so, you were elected homecoming queen, and congratulations. Thank you. Um, thank that's you. amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, how did you feel when you were announced? Oh, my goodness. I looked at my so my escort was my friend Johnny and yeah. I looked I like looked at him and I was just like what <laughs> and it all happened so fast yeah. after the announcement that I didn't really have time to process mm -hmm. so that night I was up till 3 a.m. just like in bed just like what just happened <laughs> <laughs> and had to like replay the video yeah. like four times just that's to make funny. sure it actually so happened fun. oh that's fun now so Besides this, you've also done something super important within the last month. You ran the Chicago mm, Marathon. I did. Which is, first off, runners are crazy <laughs> and, and deserve mad respect. Yeah. Um, yeah. How was that? It was incredible. It was the yeah. most incredible experience. I'm yeah. hoping to do another one. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Crazy, yes. <laughs> um, so, so what is something that you would um, let someone know? Uh, cue them in uh, about marathons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, just because there's free snacks doesn't mean you have to take them all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> um, now, uh, you said something to me earlier about um, a certain mile yeah. that you've got to like watch out for and yes. like persevere through. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Yeah. So, great advice that I was given beforehand, which I was very thankful for, was that the race doesn't begin until mile 20. And that is because mm. everyone running the marathon thinks that once you're at mile 20, like, oh, you're almost there. You've mm -hmm. run 20 miles. Like, yeah. who would have thought? And that six more miles. Like, what is six more miles? Yeah. But usually you're running at about 10-minute pace. So that's another hour of running. And yeah. so everyone uses all their energy up mm -hmm. until mile 20. So after mile 20, that's, that's when you need to save your energy. Yeah. For. All right. Thank you, Heather, for joining us. Now, I hope you two are hungry because... We will play a fun little game when we come back. Okay, so we're going to play a little game that's called the Blind Flavors of Fall. the game are simple. We'll both have you wear blindfolds and then I will present each of you with a different fall flavor. Um, we will allow you about a minute and 30 seconds to guess what the flavor is. Whoever guesses correctly before the timer goes off wins the round. However, if the timer runs out before either of you gets the food in the round, the en it ends with a tie. The, contest the contestant with the most correctly guessed flavors will win the blind flavors of fall. Now let's play the game. All right. Okay. Yeah. We also have cups so you can spit. Oh, okay. It's the first one. Heather, I'm going to come around. Okay. All right. This is a sipper. Oh. Yep. <laughs> All right. Is it good? I don't say anything. <laughs> I won't say anything. All right, I'm coming in. Oh, it's a cup. Mm, yeah. It's a <laughs> sipper. It's a cup. 
Ah. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, um, you know, do with that what you will. Do you guys feel confident in your guess? I think so. Sure. Yeah? All right. Now, on account of three, announce what you think it is. Okay. Apple Society. Wait, three, two, wait, 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 one. Go, go. <laughs> <laughs> you said three. I got no, excited. Okay, just go. <laughs> just guess. Apple Sparkling apple juice. Oh, okay. Martinelli's? Okay, Did you get Martinelli's from that? I, you know, personally do not know the brand. Um, oh. But I think you're both right. It is apple cider and it is sparkling because you didn't say the sparkling oh, part. I so wait, that's yeah. a tie. Oh, wow. I'm going to say that's a tie. All right. For the next one. All right. Scoot these. For the next one. Should we have something to cleanse our palate? Or? No. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> a little yeah, pickled ginger. We're not like that. All right. This is a biter. Oh, very hot. Yeah. Like a, the troubled mm. kid in kindergarten. Mm. A biter. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I'm coming in. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Bite. All right. Ah. Uh. <laughs> All right. Do what you will with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He oh. doesn't like it. Okay. All right. Um, the apple juice. You want that? Yeah. <laughs> I am here. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, we're gonna leave that there. Um, okay. So I'm gonna count of three. Okay, I got it. Once you time. hear the number three, you can okay. say it. All right. <laughs> One, two. Three. Reese's. Reese's Pete. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Yep. You're, all right. One, one. Okay. Next one. Got another one that you have to bite. Okay. I don't know which apple is. Oh. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> This one isn't an apple? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> OK. So All right. it's not an apple. No, we've got another thing for you to bite. <laughs> <laughs> OK. All right. Yep, yep, yep. It's going in. Uh, yeah, you got to uh, wrap your teeth around that. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't like yeah. that. You don't uh, like that imagery? Mm. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just let yourself be exposed to those flavors. Can I wow. smell them? No, just put it in your mouth. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. I like that. You can keep eating Thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Know, you don't, do you not like that, Heather? Um, mm. It's all right. It's all right. I wasn't expecting that texture. Oh, OK. Um, no, do you need right some here. time to think about it? Oh, I know. Oh, you know? Yeah. Mm. Oh, no, you know? Oh, all right. Know. Yeah. One, two, three. Pumpkin, Pumpkin pie. pie. Yeah. <laughs> Another tie. Two, wow. two. Definitely not an apple. <laughs> yeah, that was not an apple. No, it's, I fooled ya. <laughs> okay, this next one. This He's next one. Oh. That sounds like oh, a spoon. Don't you wish. Things. Don't you wish it were. Oh, you hear cracking. Is she lighting matches? <laughs> I don't know, she's cracking something. Creme brulee. I've got to do laundry. <laughs> All right. Heather, I need you to make like a, a wide straw mouth. Oh. You know, everybody, yeah, yeah, get ready. <laughs> oh, no, I just understand what that means. suck on it. <laughs> yeah, you like that? Nothing's coming out. <laughs> oh, no, okay, I'll squeeze. Mm. No, okay, well, there's a spitting cup. Mm -mm. You don't, okay. <laughs> I won't do it's that. It's baby food, isn't it? I don't know. Who's to say? <laughs> you. Well, all right, uh, it Oh, I know it all. Oh! Mmm. Oh, bad bear foam. Yeah, it is a spitting cup. Mm -hmm. Please don't it's spit it out. It's not bad, Oh, wow. Okay, so, um, three, two, one. It's applesauce. applesauce, but it's the applesauce. It's a squeezy. It's in the green thing with the little green thing. Don't describe the thing. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. You both tied. Oh, that is. All right. Yeah. Wow. You can eat whatever you want. That is oh totally my. baby oh food. My. And you were right. I was bringing you an apple. Um, oh, anyways. it wasn't green. Totally no, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, thank you so much, Heather and Noah, for joining us. It has been a pleasure to have you both on the show. And that's all we have for tonight. Thank you all for, uh, to our guests, the crew behind the scenes, and Owen U. Paul's apartment acting out, and Dr. Heather McLaughlin for making this show possible.
And, of course, thank you for tuning in. We hope to see you next week. I'm Bexalagi, and good night from tonight at All Events.